Hey guys, welcome back to Release the Craft in Priscilla here with day 18 of November. Can you believe it? 18 days already. There's only a few more days left. Actually, there's not a few more days. There's 12 more days left. But it feels like there's only like two days left and this is just going by super fast. Uh, the prompt for day 18 is heart. And um, I decided to make a little magnetic uh, bookmark specimen sort of deal. Alleged specimen. Um, <laughs> I wanted to make a heart in a jar, and I think that's uh, a nice, fun, like, oddities, curiosities, ex specimen. Um, I wasn't going to say expression. I forgot what I was saying. Um, but at any rate, I have um, this adhesive magnet paper, and that's the only reason we're doing this, is because when I was digging for other things, I found it and went, oh yeah, remember when you made one of these and then forgot entirely that you had, like, magnet sheets? So yeah, here we are. <laughs> We're remembering that we have magnet sheets. And uh, now I have this like cool bell jar um, stamp. I don't know if it's actually called a bell jar. No one has told me yet if it's a bell jar or a cloche. And I um, get insecure every time I say it. And then also not insecure enough to go look it up myself. So here we are. So I'm going to emboss uh, the bell jar onto the front and the back. Mostly so like, well on the front because it's the focal point. But on the back so I know where to cut. Otherwise I won't know how to to cut it out. Now, could I stick the two magnets together and then trace it out and cut it out that way? Yeah, I could have done that. Did I? No. <gasps> so, here we are. We are embossing it both on the front and the back, even though on the back it's... I mean, I guess it kind of just looks like there's a skull in a jar, but that's not really why we're there. Um, we're there for the front. <laughs> it still looks cool. Like, it, I'm not mad about it. I'm just confused as to why I didn't just stick them together and then trace it out. But, you know, you live and you learn. Uh, like here, where I decided to use uh, the embossing glaze to uh, stamp out this heart in red. And then I was like, oh, we'll just color it in with some more red from this freaking set of color pencils that I'm using a lot because I never use and I have to justify spending the money on them. So we're using them. And then it turns out that... Um, the colors weren't coming out the way that I wanted them to uh, the first go around, even though I was like, this should be relatively the same color. And yet, for some reason, it's not. But also, it's like a weird pinkier tone. And now I'm very confused as to how things are working in my life and questioning my choices. So I decided to just focus on fussy cutting out our bell jars instead um, to give me some time to think about it. And then... Um, also considered that I probably could have just cut the bell jars out of regular paper first instead of having to also cut them out of the magnet. And I could have just stuck them to the magnet and then cut it out. I did not plan this in a way that makes logical sense. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> it comes through. It comes out together in the end. I'm very happy with it. But the entire process had me like, why, why are you like this? What are you like this? How are you like this? And then I remembered that it probably runs in my family. So I just moved on. But at any rate, here I decided to come back through with uh, the fired brick distress ink um and color it in. and now i'm finally getting some difference in color and it's not pink and i'm very happy with how this heart looks it just has a little bit more body to it and i like that so now that i'm happier with the way that this looks i um go around and ink everything up and then i realized as i was inking stuff up it was actually like the because i heated up the paper to put the embossing powder on it, it was lifting away from the adhesive on the backing, like so I had melted the, the adhesive a little bit. So I was like, just go ahead and glue it down. And then I realized once I pulled it up that the all the like inking I was doing to the edges wasn't actually hitting all the edges like I wanted to. So I pulled up both pieces, inked them up. Comedy of errors. We move on, we live and we learn. My supervisor came to check on me because he could tell I was getting frustrated. Uh, but I was determined to get this done. I was determined to finish it. I knew it was going to work. It was just a matter of getting there. And then I remembered that um, there has to be something to hold both of these together. Otherwise, you just have magnets. You don't have a magnet like bookmark. You just have floating magnets. Um, and so I got a little piece of lace, realized I needed to have that underneath the paper um, because gluing it to the magnet would be really weird and hard and problematic. So uh, very quickly I tried to lift up the paper before it permanently sealed down and there was a little bit of tearing but not enough to like make me sad about it. It didn't ruin the front of the image so we're totally fine with that. Um, but I managed to get the lace in between the two so now he has something to hold it together and so it's a functioning bookmark um, or just like a little fancy magnetic paper clip 
essentially. Um, and then I decided that the heart needed more body. It needed to be bodier. So I went over it with some uh, clear embossing powder to sort of tie all the colors in together. And this like sealed the deal for me where I was like, yes, you have made all the correct choices on this heart. It looks fantastic now. Uh, it looks dimensional. It's got layers. And then I went around the edge really quick with a little black uh, marker to make it look more polished, a little more professional. I should have done this before I embossed everything, but it still worked out at the end. And we're gonna pop it into our jar. So now we have our little heart on display here. And I love it. I think it's fantastic. And then I was like, okay, it needs just a little something extra. So I added a little figure rub on so it has like a little, little specimen vibe to it. And there it is. There's our bookmark. That's everything. I hope that you guys like this one and got some ideas from it. I will catch you all in the next edition of Povember. Um, don't forget the hashtag Povember24. And uh, I appreciate your faces, guys. Happy crafting. Bye.